What's going on guys? Harley here. Welcome back to another episode of Mixed Reviews. Today, we got the Foz! 2006 Subaru Forester XT. We got the black on beige, automatic transmission, mega sunroof, and this thing's pushing like 245 horsepower. It's got one of them STI motors in it. In all seriousness, this is a really functional daily driver. It's quick, it sounds cool, it's all wheel drive. It's kind of a hard car to beat. You got enough room for a baby in the back. You can put whatever you want in the hatch. It'll let you know when your seatbelt's not on. And this thing's pretty fast. Now, she ain't nothing new. But for 2006, she's got quite a few creature comforts. We got front heated seats. We got this nice climate control here. You can set it for both sides. You know, it's gonna come with a pretty basic radio, but they make a million different double dins and this thing's just plug and play, pops right in here. Got this massive sunroof, cruise control. And I don't know what else you could ask for when you got a sound like this. The one major drawback to this car is the back seat. While the seats are incredibly comfortable, there's not a ton of leg room in here. I'm 5'10 and my knees are in the driver's back seat. So this car is really only suitable for young kids or really short people. In the back, you got a nice little wiper. Keep your back glass clean. Sporty little spoiler. And when you pop it open, you got a decent amount of trunk space. Underneath here, extra oil because you know it's going to burn it, spare tire underneath here, and enough cargo room to fit, I don't know, six or seven toddlers. Underneath the bird poop is a hood, and underneath this hood is a 2.5 liter four-cylinder boxer engine. It's pretty stock except for this short ram air intake. Other than that, we've got a downpipe on here, and it's connected to the turbo, which is making those sweet whooshy noises. Up front, we've got a power passenger seat. And if you can find one of these with relatively low miles at a good price, it'll be a good car for you. It'll last a while. And on the flip side, you'll probably be able to sell it for a lot if you want to. If you can find a manual transmission, clean title and low miles, you're probably looking at 10, 12K. This automatic, it's probably gonna sell for about $8,500 in the next couple of days. Now, the one drawback to being an automatic is you can't control when it shifts, to an extent. The one plus side to this being an automatic is you don't have to shift. So, you take what you get, uh, and honestly, it just depends on your driving style. If you drive around the city a lot, you're in a lot of traffic, automatic's totally fine. If you're somebody who's a real car enthusiast and you need to have that third pedal, find yourself a manual and you'll have a good time. Just give her a little sauce. she takes off. This thing is surprisingly quick and surprisingly fun uh, for minimal modification. You do a, a downpipe and exhaust and intake and a tune. You're pushing STI numbers in a Forester. You got a ton of cargo space and you got all the noises that you want. It's a fun car and it's super functional. Not to mention there's something that never gets old about looking over the hood of a Subaru and just seeing a massive hood scoop on an everyday car. It's a ton of fun. So not only does this car grip really well in the street because of the all-wheel drive, it's also a super fun car in the wintertime. Subaru's all-wheel drive system is one of the best out there, hands down, with their symmetrical all-wheel drive. All four wheels are going all the time, so you always have traction. We got some winter clips we're going to link in here right now.
And last but not least, this thing has frameless windows. So it looks pretty cool when you get in and out of it. All in all, this is a pretty sweet car. You could pick one up for under 10 grand and have a ton of fun with it. It's super functional. You'll be able to resell it. And at the end of the day, you're gonna have a good time with it. Plus you get respect from the true Subaru owners that know exactly what this is. And you won't get all the hate from the people who don't like STIs and don't like Subarus because it blends in with traffic. But when you need some go-go, just give it a blow-go. I don't know what blow-go is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already because we have a lot more car content coming. Until next time guys, peace.